Hello and welcome to Kit Plus News, which is supported by OpenGear, the industry standard platform of choice for modular signal processing. And this week we're preparing for ISE in Barcelona. Yes, Integrated Systems Europe, to give it, give it its full title, returns to Barcelona next week and we'll be there spending time with many exhibitors discovering their plans and products for 2023. Before that though, we've got some news previews from a few exhibitors. Yeah, starting with Magewell, who have announced the flexible ProConvert Audio DX multi-format IP audio encoder, decoder and capture device. It's the company's first solution with integrated support for Dante Audio Networking. The new hardware lets users easily convert audio between Dante, NDI and SRT, whilst also seamlessly bridging analog audio, software and IP networks. Magewell will be showing the ProConvert Audio DX alongside demonstrations of other new innovations on stand 5H200 at ISA. Next up is Densitron, who will be featured on the Bird Dog stand at the show, where they will showcase the recently announced integration of its acclaimed IDS control system with a full range of Bird Dog cameras. Available through the IDS software, the integration provides an easy to use interface that allows camera operators to adjust primary settings such as position, location, and preset store and call. You can find them in Hall 5, C375. It appears we'll be spending quite a lot of time in Hall 5. <laughs> Clearcom will be there to showcase a broad range of intercom applications with the company's diverse portfolio of intercom systems, including the award-winning Arcadia Central Station with Helix Digital Network Party Line integration, the new V-Series RSX IP panel, and a range of virtual intercom clients, including the Agent IC mobile app and sta Station IC desktop client. You can find them on Stand 5G820 in, yes, all five. All five. FSR has announced plans to bring a complement of infrastructure and power products to IC. The solutions developed specifically to target the international AV market, optimise budgets and streamline installations. They'll be in Hall 5, stand number H870 for the duration of the show. Keyleview has released a new generation of video encoders known as E3. It takes a video input and loop through HDMI up to 4K P30 and 3G SDI up to 1080p60, encoding HDMI and 3G SDI video in H.265 and H.264 simultaneously. It also features an enhanced <coughs> chipset and supports simultaneous transmission to 16 destinations with an adjustable bit rate of up to 100 megabits per second. It's going to be showcased at IC for the very first time and we'll be taking a closer look ourselves. And you guessed it, they're also in Hall 5 and on booth F120. Last but not least for ISC, the Alliance for IP Media Solutions, that's AIMS, will be highlighting the global pro-AV market's increasing adoption of Internet Protocol Media Experience, or IPMX. A set of open standards-based protocols designed to ensure interoperability for AV over IP systems. Visitors to the AIMS booth will see IPMX-based hardware and software working together simultaneously in live demonstrations hosted by AIMS members and IPMX collaborators. Highlights will include HDCP running on IPMX, IPMX bridging to HD base T, and the capabilities and benefits of ANWR, NMOS, ISO4 and ISO5. Hall 5, by any chance? Oh yeah, of course, Hall yeah. 5, booth yeah. J550. We should point out there are seven halls, at least, I think, at ISC, so lots to see. Now, in other news, now Flanders Scientific have a new OLED monitor. Let's find out more. Hi, I'm Brom Desmond with Flanders Scientific, and we'd like to tell you about our new 22-inch 10-bit OLED, the DM220. This monitor is perfect for production environments, editorial, color grading, or any other application that requires highly color-accurate monitoring comes with professional SDI inputs, and can be run off of both AC or DC power, so used, again, just about anywhere. We invite you to learn more about this monitor at flanderscientific.com. Thanks, Bram, and do send in your video press releases, and we'll do our best to include them in future shows. We call them VPRs. Just drop an email to news at kitplus.com. TDL has successfully completed the AWS Foundational Technical Review, FTR, for its award-winning SmartWork no-code media integration platform. The AWS FTR enables companies to identify risks in their software or solutions. So this SmartWork, the, the integration, the, the no-code media integration platform, as they call it, ensures the interoperability of different services and applications, enabling the automation of production and represents a new concept for the M&E industry. Wooden Camera has announced a new collection of custom kits for Panasonic's G86. These customised GH6 kits are designed to give users the most solid yet flexible cage setups for their camera system. 
with the GHH wraparound cage included, including standard features like a removable hot shoe clamp, focal plane marking, detachable cable clamp bracket, and various mounting points compatible with all your industry standard locating pins. And Quality, a Spanish production company, has successfully completed live coverage of the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 qualifiers in the Bahamas and the US Virgin Islands, located in the heart of the Caribbean Sea. The team relied on DeGiro connectivity solutions for transmission to multiple broadcast networks serving sports fans all around the world. Nine DeGiro Engo mobile transmitters were deployed for the multi-camera productions, whilst three DeGiro waypoint receivers located at Quality's hub and master control room in Madrid received the camera feeds and packaged content, then uplinked via satellite for global distribution. Fabrics has released the latest update, version 4.8, for its acclaimed QX and QXL rasterizers. Using Fabrics patented technology, this new class of waveform instrumentation delivers all the fine detail needed for camera shading or image grading, while retaining the flexibility of real-time operation and support for the wide range of SDR and HDR, SDI and IP video formats for which Fabrics is famous. It uses a technique patented by Fabrics to efficiently deliver a high-resolution image processing pipeline with support for deep colour sources up to 12-bit. Zixi has announced an integration by Spin Digital into its live encoding and playback solutions. The combination of high-performance live encoding, compute-efficient playback and market-leading transport performance unlocks new immersive viewing experiences, including up to 8K HDR resolution, efficient HEVC and VVC compression, and VR AR optimized video continuously delivered with error-free reliability and ultra-low latency performance the Zixi protocol is known for. A bit more basketball now. The FIBA 3x3 World Tour 2022 Paris Masters has relied on a multi-camera OB solution featuring the ATEM Constellation 8K live production switcher from Blackmagic Design. Yeah, the 2022 tournament marks the 11th edition of the 3x3 Masters format and incorporates 12 events worldwide. Toulouse-based Stop and Go Production supplied OB support on the maiden edition of the Paris Masters event at the iconic venue. Imagined entirely in-house and built in only six months, the OB truck can accommodate up to four technicians and is based on a hybrid 4K IP and SDI-based production workflow. And Disguise has released Porter 2.1, a significant update to its integrated software solution that lets anybody easily manage Unreal Engine graphics directly within their existing workflows. Now with their latest newsroom com computer system, the NRCS, integrated through MOS protocol. Yeah, with its new NRCS integration, Porter 2.1 users can control real-time graphics more intuitively than ever before through enhanced data sharing. Easy template creation tools mean journalists can build unique graphics from the newsroom without a designer's help, even if they've never used Unreal Engine before. Now, Disguise will be at ISC as well, and we're going to be spending some time on their booth, where we'll no doubt be finding out a lot more. What booth are they? Or five, <laughs> 5J300. Um, and finally, the news this week, Lightwear Visual Engineering is strengthening the security profiles of its product range as collaborative uh, applications continue to soar in popularity across the globe. So with unprotected AV network applications, data is vulnerable to intrusions from the internet. By separating sensitive data from internet connectivity, all users of Lightwear's universal matrix switcher, the Taurus UCX, can access the internet without risking security breaches. That's it for this week. There won't be any studio news uh, show next week, as we'll be in Barcelona, mainly Hall 5. And we will be using, for the first time at ISC, the new Atomos Shogun Connect, uh, which enables live streaming, as well as upload of our content we record on the various booths, direct to the cloud, in our case, to Frame.io. Yeah, the upshot of this, of course, is that our editor can get the content online quicker than ever before. And we'll also be chatting with Atomos at the show. Yep, Hall 5 again, um, stand F210. Thanks to Open Gear for their support of the Kit Plus News. And thank you for watching. We will see you next time or maybe in Barcelona.